Hello everyone, I am Top Dragster, and welcome to the second race of Nathan Stapleton's Krispy Kreme series. You're at Ricky Speedway in the 30 lap race. Plate racing? This is going to be good. So, the starting lineup here, Regan Whitlock and the 20, and it is Max Anderson pick up the front row, and then it is the 74, that is Josh Yurtsito. The winner at Daytona, and then Eli Bright, 88, in fourth. Dragon Critic and Bruno De Barros make up row three. And then row four is the 01 of Nick Kennedy and Josh Stedger in the 14 car. And then finally, rounding up top 10, Julius Anderson and Semet Oskin in the 98. On through the rest of the field. Let's look for your name here. We had a late entry here. The 07 top dragster. Myself. <laughs> I signed up late, but the 07 is now in this. We have 41 cars racing. If you look for your name here, on down to Roger Ray in the 05. 41 cars, 30 laps. Pit stops shouldn't take be taking place, but you never know. So with that being said, we are rolling. We're getting ready to go racing here at Ricky Speedway. So far, the winners this season here in the Krispy Kreme series, the 74 of Josh Uprasino and the number 3 of Jeff Bright, one at Atlanta. So we're getting ready to go plate racing here at Ricky Speedway. Raceway, I always say Speedway. Pace car is in. Coming to the green. Green flag is out and we are racing. two car in the preferred lane this is another case of the inside lane being greatly preferred you can easily move up the 62 is barely gonna lead lap one the 93 of Dragon Critic now in the preferred lane with Nick Kennedy and the four that is Mitchell Carter they're on the low side here comes the 48 as well Tom Jonas The 01 clear the 4 here. The 01 will clear the 4 after stepping out from behind the 93. That now gives the 01 the lead. All bunched up 3 wide throughout the field. Here comes the 48 making a peek for Tom Jonas. With the 52 of Griffin Lynn right behind. The six of Justin Carter is there as well. Tom Jonas to the outside. This gives the lead to the 52. Coming to complete lap three. Now the one car that is Brandon Gomez and the 22 of Tristan Allen. And to make a move here, the one is going to get stuck in the middle. This will give the preferred lane to the 22. This will allow, allow him to close right in up to the 52. But can the 33 mount a charge here for Tyson Aquino? Winner at Atlanta in the trucks. Now up to third place, whoa! 
really close there. Almost contact between the 33 and the 40. 40 car is Tim Jonas. But the 50 tar car continues to lead. Ford, you're going to look out here without much help. Though he will be able to get his nose under the 22. So this will put him in good position to potentially do something about the 52. But right now, Griffin Lynn looking really strong. As we have just completed the fifth lap. The 43 and the 18. 43 is Joshua Mayfield. Nathan Stapleton's 18. Mounting a charge here. And right behind the 18 is the number 3 of Jeff Bright, winner at Atlanta. Now Jeff Bright going to look below the 18. But the 52 remains on point. Looking really, really strong. And other good news, the, uh, the glitchy cars, which would have been the 44 and the 24, have fixed themselves. If you remember, they were really glitchy at Daytona, but uh, that has now been fixed. And now the 44 is going to help push the 3 here. 44 is TJ Hanley. And now Jeff Bright going to try and take the lead away from the 52. Here comes the 19 of Julius Anderson to help. Jeff Bright to the lead here on lap 8. Again, pit stop should not be taking place. Again, should not. And the three stay ahead of Julius Anderson. He is able to cut down low. Again, the inside lane, as you have well seen. Very much the preferred lane. Now two by two throughout the field. And now looking three wide here for second place. The 42 and the 05 force of the issue. The 05 is Roger Ray. 42 is Ma yeah, Matt Montoya. Also mid race, the my gosh, I can't speak. Mid race here, I want to give a shout out to Napa fan, who did the Atlanta races, and will be doing a few other races for the series. He has done a terrific job, I gotta say. Did way better than me, but big shout out to him. Doing pretty darn awesome, man. Thirty nine of Rebecca Tyler, the truck Daytona winner. Is now up to second place with help from Eli Bright. You're going to make the move here. The 88 looks. The 20 of Max Anderson is right behind him. Jeff Bright holds the lead though. Jeff Bright and Eli Bright. 1-2. Coming, coming to the conclusion of the 10th lap here. We are now a third of the way through this race. Here comes the 51, Alexander Rossi. Did I just say Alexander Rossi? Alexander Rowe. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am not in a good state to be filming this race right now, but I don't care. We're going on with it anyway. As here comes Eli Bright. Now Alexander Rowe going to look with Joshua Pacito right behind him. That 74 is obviously really good here on plate tracks. Again, winner at Daytona. Was up front for most of that race. Qualified up front for this one. And is now right back up there. He's going to look for the lead. The 93 can get close enough to him. He will get a big enough push and he has the preferred lane. 
Josh here, proceed to the point. Again, that is if I am pronouncing that last name correctly. I might not be. If not, I very much apologize. The 28 of Eli Stapleton. The 2 of Alger Baranowskis right behind him. Look at the amount of charge. Still 2 by 2. And now they're looking with lots of help for the 28 and 2. This will give the 28 the preferred lane. Eli Stapleton to the lead. Aldra Baranowskis right behind. Here comes the 85 of Amy Ashley on the low side. Two going to look here. And is going to get the preferred lane. An excellent move there for the two car of Aldra Baranowskis to take the lead. With Amy Ashley and the 0-1 of Nick Kennedy right behind. And now right back up into this is Tom Jonas once again. This time by we'll only be a lap away from the halfway point of this race. Been pretty clean so far. And now, whoa! Really close there between the 48 and the and the zero. But now the 48 gonna have the preferred lane and a run here as the two has a pretty big lead. If he can time this perfectly. He should have a run here. Looks like he's gonna stay tucked in. This could open the door for Eric Powers in the 87 who also files in line. The number four of Mitchell Carter is now coming on up here with the five of Justin Roback right behind. We are halfway through this race. Ben Green throughout. We're still two by two. The two car now forced to the outside. Tom Jonas to the point. With the four, the five, and the 07. Now up into the mix. Here comes the four. Mitchell Carter pushed by Justin Roback. And the 07, a late entry here. Of Top Dragster is now moving up. Now in the preferred lane with the 11 right behind. The 11 is Tyler Lyman.